Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett and I will be your host today for Europa Universalis 4 as we head into the 13th episode of our Ashikaga to Kirishten Japan run. Welcome back everyone, hopefully we can uh, get a couple more annexations done today, maybe if we're so lucky we can maybe even see the rise of the uh, colony actually taking form in, um, in Cascadia, although that's maybe not super likely. We'll have to check on that a little bit later, but for the very least, I'm going to send out our conquistadors to go and explore, maybe look for the seven cities of gold. Very unlikely they'll find anything, but that's totally fine if they don't, because let's be honest, how many times have you actually found something? I mean, let's, let's be real here. Let's be honest. Let's keep it a buck fifty. How many times have you found something when searching for the seven cities of gold? I think I might have found something once. One of the one of the seven cities. Um, and for some reason, it spawned up in Canada, which is kind of weird. It was like a random, random, somewhat northern kind of area of Canada, which is kind of, kind of odd, but, eh, well, it's, it's, it's whatever. It gave it like an extra nine development or something. That was kind of cool. Um, but what else could we do here? We could gain prestige or that's a, uh, okay, I thought that was a lot more money than it, than it actually is. I thought that was 1,000. I was a little bit concerned, but anyway, uh, 114, 50 admin, five morale of armies, five reinforced speed. That, that doesn't really matter. That's 20 years though, so it's okay. It's pretty good. Uh, well, I could just gain the prestige, and I don't spend the admin. I kind of, kind of want to keep that admin, to be honest. So, I think I think we're gonna end up keeping it. All right then. Uh, you, I can probably annex. Actually, oh, and I lose fifty admin anyway. Thank you, Paradox. Whenever I, when I think that's been a theme recently. Whenever I choose something that isn't gonna give me the penalty, they'll just give it give it to me for free later on. So you know, I get the I get the double combo. I'm getting the whole thing, even when I don't want it, so, so sure, sure, thank you, thank you, Paradox, I'll take that. Uh, I could start this annexation, which will take, uh, how many years? Two years, not bad. This will take me two years as well, okay. And I can't quite annex these guys, but if I can, I'm gonna try and annex all three of them at the same time. I don't need this Diplotech right now, it would be great. It would be great. Don't don't get me wrong here. The plus ten settlers would be fantastic. Um, or I could just finish these annexations. What do I want more? Do I want the settlers or do I want the annexations more? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this will start draining me by six. This will start draining me by six as well, and six as well. And you'll take a little bit longer too. So that's going to be minus 18. I'm going to be losing 10 per month, Diplo. I don't think I'm going to go ahead with that right now, actually. I think I'm going to wait a little while. Uh, the, the time that I form Japan doesn't actually matter. As long as it just happens in the end, it'll be great. It'll be fine. I still technically count as a, uh, a daimyo, a shogun daimyo, kind of, but a daimyo nonetheless. And um, the spread of Christianity can happen whether you are Japan or... A daimyo, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't make any difference to the game, I don't think. You can convert, sure thing. It sounds like my sounds are a little bit loud, and I'm hoping you guys aren't getting your ears blasted off, but I'm going to turn it down just a bit. Hopefully you guys are okay. Just, just making sure. I get worried sometimes, so. Uh, I could go with... Uh, I, I really didn't want to spend the Diplo, though, did I? Oh, I can grab this. And we embraced, right? We grabbed... Okay, yeah, we do have colonialism. Oh, of course we have colonialism. It's not like anyone else does. Except for some of my daimyos, of course. But yeah, uh, Europe's really going to feel this later on, aren't they? 50 years of, of tech problems. Well, maybe... Maybe probably 30 for Portugal, actually. Probably around 30. Uh, but anyway, not for us. That's great. Alrighty then, new idea group. I think uh, this was the big debate. The whole, the whole shebang, the whole thing. I don't know why the music stopped. Let me go put on something interesting. You know, this is good. So, we have the option between humanist and religious. That's the sort of, that's the debate. Religious versus uh, humanist. Uh, I think we talked about going humanist. The colonies would appreciate that, um, especially over here as well. Because, actually, no, we can't make, now that I think about it, we can't make trade companies out of any of this stuff. Because we're also in Asia. And then over here, humanist doesn't make any difference. I think religious would actually be the best in, in every in every case now, actually. 
I think it would. I think religious would be the best in, like, literally of every single case. Unless, of course, we do the whole wraparound thing. We go over to Mexico, and then Mexico gets strayed from somewhere else, and we, we eventually start pulling from, from the Cape of Good Hope, and then do that. That would be absolutely insane. That is something we could do. Humanist, fantastic at that point. But religious is so good as Japan for so many different reasons, because especially, first of all, Shinto, unique religion in Japan, so religious, it's great. But even, like, we're changing our religion, but it's still going to be the only one in all of Asia to be that way. So I'm thinking, it would actually, in, in pretty much every single case, uh, religious is just better. I, I feel like that's the case, if I'm going to be honest about it. So I think I'm going to take religious. I think I think that just is the better case. In pretty much in every every scenario. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if I'm going to be honest. It is just uh, the better case. Can I make any new states? I think I annexed a nation or two. I can make this one, but that's not useful, really. So yeah, we're going to grab the next tech. The next uh, Diplo tech, which is really inexpensive, to be fair. Uh, ooh, what is this? Etchison. Okay, you are good for production. Oh, wow, paper's really, really good right now, actually. Damn, okay. Uh, and Sutsui wouldn't like me very much, and Sutsui is one of my vassals, and I kind of want to keep them happy. Or one of my daimyo, sorry. So this is just great. This is good, actually. More goods produced. They aren't upset at me, so that's good. Just more money in general. More good stuff, and we like that. Uh... Culverance. Okay, so now now cannons are worth getting. Just just so you know, when you get when you get upgrade from the larger small cast cannons, like the Culverins and the Pedreros, those are really really good to actually start building up artillery. So this is this is the key turning point in artillery warfare. When you get one of these upgrades, it's like getting level two. Um, it's like getting level two artillery in Hoi. Like I don't know how many of you have like watched Tommy K, but he always says consistently like. Only start producing artillery once you hit level 2 when you're playing multiplayer. This is the same thing. Artillery is only good when you hit level 2 artillery. So anyway. Uh, step cavalry. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, we can only go with one thing, I mean. We can we can only choose one option in the first place. Um, ooh, whoa, what is this? National unrest or... Oh, wow. Oh, that is really not good. Hmm. New consort appears. I lose prestige. National unrest could go up if I don't do that. My national unrest really doesn't need another hit. Because this guy, is he's just cruel. And I really want to get rid of him when I can. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, if this, if this guy died right now, if my shogun died, I wouldn't be that upset. I'd have a queen regent for my heir. So if my shogun died, I would not be up that upset. So that being said, I'm sure you'd make a great a great leader, Sir Shogun. I'm sure you'd be super good at being a leader. And you know what? I might as well I might as well train just for the the extra chance. Uh-huh. We'll take we'll take it. We'll take the national unrest. It's gonna suck. It is gonna suck, okay? I'm not I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat that, but there's not really much I can do about it. Uh, cause that's a lot of, a lot of bad things happen, uh, with our relationship with Wu, which we kind of need to keep, keep in mind, um, you know, pun intended, keep in mind, we're gonna, we're gonna want to keep this alliance here. It's kind of important. It's not like they like me very much in the first place, we're a heretic religion, so. Uh, okay, yep, here's the Diplotech, great, we get that extra settler increase, which is super important. For making sure, uh, this is done. And we also get to explore all around... North America, at least. We're not going to find much here, but we can at least look around, take a look, see what's see what's going on. Now, Ming, are you guys still, like, in absolute shambles, or... I don't think so, actually. I think you guys are fine now, and that's not good. How about Manchu? Oh, you're, uh... You're a tributary, actually, and that's, that's not going to work for me. I can't attack anyone. Not right now, at least. Uh, yeah, nope, not a, not a single... Not a single soul. I can't attack any of them. Ming is a... It's Lokia, maybe. Ming still kind of scares me, even though uh, they're still relying on mercenaries and have no manpower. And they're in ridiculous debt. Like, I'm pretty sure... Let me check their debt. Uh... Oh! I can't actually check that. I thought I could. 
I thought I could check debt that way. Maybe they don't have debt. Hold on. Or maybe... Uh, wait, why am I typing debt into the... Am I stu... What? What? What did I do that for? I wanted to check, um... Is there... Any sort of way to check? Country trade, no. Friendly, no, no, no. It have to be an economy, yeah. I don't think I can actually chill. Uh, chill? Yeah, check. Um... That's their income. Is there an outcome? Which sounds really stupid. I mean expenses. Okay, come on, guys. Is there... Is there... Okay, cost overview. No, that's just for me. Darn it. Okay. I thought maybe if I can check the, uh... The amount that they're paying per month in... What are those fees called? Uh... I can't think of the word right now. But you know when things cost, uh, more because you haven't paid back your... Your loans. That... That thing. That thing. I can't... I just can't think of the word right now. But, yeah. Actually, I can check what that is. Interest. Yeah, that's the word. Mm, I swear. I swear English is my first language, guys. You just gotta you just gotta give me some time sometimes to figure out how to speak it. Sometimes I forget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Just, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I just have to wait. Um, oh, wait. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. 453 in debt. That's that's why. I can, I can check it that way, too. Ooh. Well, it looks like Manchu has grown a little bit rebellious to Ming. And that is very good for me. Ooh, that is very, very good for me. Manchu, I don't think you realize what you just did. I really don't think you realize what you just did, Manchu. Hmm, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be great. Okay, yeah, it's time. It's it's by network time, definitely. Uh, I'm going to try and claim as much of this coast as I possibly can. This is going to be a really solid time. I wonder if there's like a... Once I become Japan, once Japan is united, do I get missions for invading Manchu? Manchuria, the whole region, maybe. Do I get missions for invading Korea? Maybe. I don't actually remember if I'm going to be honest. Maybe. Uh, huh. So if that's the case, then I'll wait. But if that's not the case... Well, we're going, we're going full force. We're just full steam ahead on this whole thing. Uh, cause that's Manchu is, oh, wait, hold on. I, hmm? Hmm? Oh, they must have, oh, okay. They must have seen me start fabricating. Oh no, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't know about that, would they? Cause my spy wasn't caught. How would they know about that? I mean, obviously the AI knows cause it's all just part of the computer. But they aren't supposed... They're supposed to at least pretend they don't realize. But I think this is a pretty classic case of the... The, the computer maybe just sort of knows a little bit that I, I did start fabricating. So maybe there are a couple of, of strings moved around in the background. That maybe they're not supposed to be moved around. But they, they were nonetheless, so... Maybe, maybe that is one of the cases. Now these colonies are getting actually kind of close. Kind of close to getting done. Which is great. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Are we good for the annexation time? Maybe. We could continue along exploration instead. Of integrating all of my daimyos. But I don't know about that. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I at least have 12 years to spend my Diplo on something. Uh, now that I think about it, I might as well just start integrating. All at the same time. Uh, because if I don't do it all at the same time, obviously the Annex Vassal is only going to get worse and worse as we continue. But once I start annexing, there's no way they can like stop annexation unless there's like a war or something that breaks out between me and them, which is impossible. Or if they become too rebellious, that is a thing that can happen, of course. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I can't actually ask them, oh, I can ask you to, can, you know, quote-unquote, contribute to the capital, but seeing as we're going to be annexing anyway, I'm going to get that development no matter what. There's just no stopping it at this point, so. All right, just one claim. I think we have claims up here, actually, but they're all kind of bad claims. Like, somewhat trash kind of claims. And you know what I realized? I, th I think I just noticed something, actually. Something really, really important. Do, 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 check the year real quick. It's 1520. Check the age up here. Something here is not right. 
something here is, is very much not right. Protestant has to be enabled. How, how has Catholicism lasted this long? It's 1520. 1520 for God's sakes, that's not supposed to happen. That's really not, really not supposed to happen. It should not still be the Age of Discovery. In, in no way should it be Age of Discovery. Oh, this is, this isn't right. This is just not right. Mm-mm. Yeah, something's wrong here. Something's definitely going, going on in Europe. I should definitely check what's going on in Europe when I uh, open the game next, because I didn't check this time, but now I'm, I'm kind of regretting that. I really want to check now. Uh, I think I'm going to lose money just to make them happy, to be honest. That's going to take too long for me. Uh, I could also go with this. 15 influence. Sure, we'll have to wait three... Well, not three years, but until they get this back. Oh, I do get the plus 5%. Yeah, so that's good. I'll have to wait a little while at least. Ooh, man, she won't like me. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't care if Manchu hates me. That's the point. We're gonna we're gonna be at war. That's the whole point of this thing. It's the whole idea. Do I have claims down here? Is that why they're upset? No, I can't get I can't get have uh, yeah yeah I can't have claims over here actually. So I don't know what their issue is. I don't have a claim. I can't get a claim here. I could get a claim here. Yeah okay. Let's claim. Oh that's done. Okay very nice. Uh good riddance first of all. Second of all. I think I'm going to go for the best one, which is this. That's the best uh, development province. Then we're going to do that so we have more diplomatic room. And we're going to move on. Uh, these guys are apparently done. Colonists is gone. There you go. And yeah, the only good thing that's been, like, this whole Age of Discovery thing still exists is that extra three development. Like, that's kind of really nice. I'm pretty sure this was a six development province when we started. So, although it's kind of weird, having this Age of Discovery for an extra 20 years has not been all that bad especially since we're starting in alaska or uh, cascadia which is kind of the worst development in all of in all of north america i mean of course there's the frozen wastelands in the middle of canada of, yeah there's that but to be fair there's like a lot of there's a lot of good stuff here that exists from uh from upping the the whole thing that's going on here i'm pretty sure i sent one. Oh no i didn't because i did the stupid thing where i don't actually send it and i think i did so uh, what's a good one? I knew probably because we don't want to accept that. That's a lot of effort. Um, let's use the the ones that'll make it colonize faster. The ones that'll give it more development because this is generally a fairly poor area over here. So yeah, having this is actually really good. So ten development from something that was a lot less. Uh, let's go with. Well, we're not going to be building any more spy networks, so let's go with the foreign spy detection. Just in case someone thinks they're being sneaky. Uh, I can't get over the fact that this used to be a three development. And now it's just... Oh, I didn't expect you on the island there. Okay. Um, anyway. That's kind of crazy. How we were able to just turn that three development into an eight development. With a couple of modifiers. It's a little bit insane. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of separatism in uh, Jeju, but that's eh, that's how things are. Not really much we can do to stop that. Uh, next, we do have in Chukchi, but we do have these guys here. Hopefully, it'll be more than enough. Uh, it'll be 11,000. We sort of need to be in the middle, though, honestly. Oh. They... You divorced my... You divorced your queen. Why would you... Why would you do that? It's kind of rude. I purposefully didn't do it for these guys, but then you guys just turn around and you're like, yeah, well, you see, it's a little bit awkward, but uh, by the way, and then what? You just turn around and divorce my queen. Come on. Anyway, Chinook's done, so that's great. Oh, I feel a little bit stupid, actually. Why do I feel stupid? Very good, very good question. Um, because I, I was supposed to send like a regular one and then send up a uh, set a expel. So we're going to send this one again, but it's going to be normal, and then we're going to take him back, set up one that is an expel, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're going to have one, two, three, and then the fourth one will be regular, the fifth one will be an expel, and then we'll be done. We will be done in Alaska, or Cascadia, or, yeah, 
it'll start uh, colonizing for itself. We'll, we'll subsidize it, of course, um, because that's what you're always supposed to do. We're going to start moving down to Mexico, hopefully right here. This looks like a nice little little spot. I, I sure hope there are no natives around to, to have to uh, intervene in with wars. Maybe. Maybe we'll have to. Do a little bit of, of conquest. That'll be interesting. Oh. And right as I said it, right as I said it, Shukchi, Separatist, huh? It's like I feel a little bit psychic or something. Of course, they're gonna be way too fast for me. Like, we're, we're just in the Siberian wastelands. It's just so hard to... It's hard to catch them. There's, there's just snow walking through, like, three feet tall snow for, like, 600 miles. I don't know how long a mile is, so that's probably wrong, but... Yeah, it's kind of unpleasant. Kind of, kind of not a great time. These guys are going to be here a while as they just keep on suppressing the same rebellion 600 times. Because <sighs> I absolutely love getting separatism. <clears throat> it's like an extra five separatism every time they do that. To be fair though, sometimes they do fix it, which is great. Just not often. Now, uh, the big question. Do we go with religious? No, that's stupid. I, I don't need that right now. Let's go with construction. I answered my own question in like less than a half second. Of course I don't need religious right now. Uh, let's recall. And let's send you over to here. And then now you're going to do the expel. Um, although I'm missing a little bit. Which means we have to go with this one. Because I kind of spent that dip low on the first one. But I gotta admit, I'm a little bit stupid. So it didn't really work out. If I'm gonna be honest. These guys are taking three a month. It's not supposed to be three a month, I don't think. Um... No, not quite, not quite. Let me do a time check, though. Just to be just to be sure about what the time's looking like. We're at 22 minutes. Actually, not that bad. Pretty pretty okay. Pretty okay for now. We can go for another three, maybe four minutes. I am on a tiny bit of a tight schedule right now. Which I'm not really in the mood to discuss. But let's continue. Uh, as we might look towards Korea. I mean, for some reason... Oh, well, of course, if you're a tributary of Ming, you can fight other ones. It's like the HRE. Ah, this is a lot of fun. And Ming's never going to accept me as tributary. Let me make that exclusively clear. Uh, rivals and all that stuff. That's why Ashikaga is generally easy in the, in the early game, but a little bit of a pain in the mid game. Is this mid game? No, it's still somewhat early game. We haven't even formed Japan yet. But yeah, uh, getting rid of the first, the first fight against Ming is always the worst one. It's always the worst one. But, as I said, it's actually going to be a little bit interesting, because I'm, I'm somewhat excited to fight Ming. I don't know if that sounds crazy or not. I'm a little bit excited. I do have this claim here, and they don't have any allies. They are weak, as well. Uh, let's go with armies. Yeah, Ming has less, less troops than me. Of course, mine are everywhere. They're just, they're, they're pretty much just everywhere. Uh, they do get tons of manpower. They do get a lot of issues, or a lot of good stuff, really. But when I do go to war with them, it's just a battle of... It's a it's naval supremacy for the first little while. Because they do have a lot of ships. Let me let me bring that up, actually. They often have a lot of ships. Yeah, 33. Um, but we just fight them with, with heavies and galleys, and we should be able to just destroy them. Just destroy them, honestly. In fact, I should start building up some heavies, because we have a, a ton of sailors, a ton of money. Let me just start building a couple of carracks. Four of them should be good. So when we fight Ming, it's going to be, we destroy their navy, we bring up the devastation incredibly high on all their coasts. If I, if I don't get it up to 100% devastation on their coasts, I'm going to be disappointed. That's the whole point. Because devastation, first of all, uh, you're making like zero money from them. Alright. Second of all, um, pretty sure devastation and being blockaded creates war exhaustion. Now war exhaustion directly creates... National unrest, up to plus 20. Do, do you guys remember that? Plus 20 is the maximum number you can get from war exhaustion for national unrest. Imagine how much fun Ming is going to be having at that point. Yeah, it's going to be, it's certainly going to be an interesting time when we're, uh, when we're ready to fight Ming. I'm going to be excited, even though, uh, yeah, again, that sounds weird. Maybe even a little bit stupid, a little bit arrogant, maybe, I'll admit that. But I'll be ready for it, so... We'll see. Uh, we could gain Diplo for a little bit of money, and they like me. Hey, that sounds like a great time. Give them a little bit of money. We get to spend more Diplo, and uh, they're totally cool with us. 
oh, finally. So someone in, in Europe was like, you know what? This Pope's up to a little bit of fishy business. And so the Age of Reformation has finally, finally come into play. That's, that, was, that took so long. That's ages. So long. Absolutely incredible. Now, uh, these guys aren't gonna... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, good. As long as they actually keep on going, as long as they continue, doesn't matter how long it takes, it'll get done, which is great. Uh, but yeah, now we need to go through a whole bunch of different... Uh, so many different things to fill out now, which we have none of. And it's gonna be even worse, because guess who's part of the Kyushuan culture group? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So does that mean culture group as in... As in the Japanese culture group? Or as in... Togoku and Saigoku? That we're asking the real questions at this point. I mean, mine is gonna be Saigoku. Which is over here. And if that's the case... Then I very much do own all of them. But if it's Japanese, we're, we're gonna have a couple of issues. Because I can't actually invade Ryukyu. And, I, and I, they're already a subject to someone, although tributary. I can't really offer vassalization. Oh no, I can. But it's probably not gonna work, of course. Vassalization, diplomatically, is like the stupidest thing in EU4. It honestly makes like no sense. For real, it makes like zero sense whatsoever. But anyway, uh, we're gonna be over ship limits. That's not good. Uh, we're not over army limits, surprisingly, which is good. I really thought I'd be more over uh, army limit, but no, it's good. Oh, look, more Diplo power for a little bit of money. That's, that's a great transaction, actually. We're gonna upgrade these guys. They're gonna go and that's 0 0.61, or it is 0 0.56. Well, clearly there's a winner. I don't know why, but there is. So I, I don't know what to say to that. Uh, integration's a slow process. Oh yes, lots of things to look at now. Uh, I'm gonna need some states, aren't I? Yeah, this one. That'll be good. This one's just like, going all over the place. That's fine. Okay, yeah, you're giving me like a, a small a small seizure here, um, if I'm gonna be honest. I hate it when that does that. It just goes all the way over the place. Like, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know why it's still a bug. That's still a thing. That should have been fixed a while ago. But hey, I'm not complaining, except I am. So anyway, uh, we should get rid of some ships. Like these ones, because we don't need them. And, like... Oh yeah, we kind of need to get rid of a few, huh? How about... Actually... I know I shouldn't have upgraded them, because I've done this twice now. We're going to get rid of these ones. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to keep the galleys. The galleys are going to be my strength against Ming. So we're going to keep them. Uh, as well as, like, you know, four heavy ships, but... The main strength is going to be that. Uh, we can also get rid of these guys. Hopefully that's the calf. Thank you very much. We don't want more calf. We just need... Where are my four calf? Oh yeah, one of my armies is up here. And he has three calves. And one of my calves is actually off in, uh... Yeah. Two are off in the New World. One's over here. One is over there. So, that's where all my cavalry is. I'm like, hey, where, where's my four calves? I'm supposed to have four calves per per army group. But nope, that's because I've been moving them all over the place. Freeland Buddhism. Hmm. I don't really want to become Buddhist if I'm going to be real. Uh, in this time of turmoil, an increasing number of people are turning to religion for guidance and safety. Buddhism has existed side by side with Shintoism for a very long time, but recently the number of adherents has been growing quickly. More Buddhist traditions also finding their way into the everyday life of the Ashikaga people. The apparent province, promise of salvation and social mobility among the freeland Buddhists is attracting a great number. All over our realm, new temples are opening, funded by rich and poor alike. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take a neutral stance. Maybe a couple of provinces will flip. No problem. Um, but I don't want to convert to, uh, to to Buddhism. And I think that might be a path you can do with this. See, for some reason, Japan has a lot of options to, to convert to religions. A lot more than, like, most other countries, for whatever reason. Now, I don't know why that is, but it's it's very, very strange. Ooh, yes, you shogun. 
That's, that's weird. He died, like, at the exact right time. This guy is still young, isn't he? Yeah, he's 17. Two years. That's crazy. And a new queen. Well, that was fast. Alright then, you know what? I think we might be actually out of time for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I mean, I might as well do the time check. And, you know, while I'm at it, let's be real here. Let's set the stability. I'm going to forget when I start. I'm going to be like, oh, why was my stability at, like, minus one for three hours or something? Anyway, uh, let me do the time check. It's probably enough time at this point. Yeah, we are at 30 minutes. So, this is Corpus on and off. Hoping you had a fantastic time. And as always, have a fantastic day.